right, all right. Welcome back, you crazy cryptonauts. What is going on? Are you guys still mining? Are you buying? Are you hodling? Or what is happening out there? Anyway, what did I do? So, I had a new wood rig I built, and I made a video of that. I moved a couple 6600 XTs over. My old rig that they came off had a mix of NVIDIA cards, 3060 Ti's, 3070 Ti's, and mixed with the 6600 XT's, I was getting some uh, T-Rex minor errors with the NVIDIA, so I said, all right, the 6600 XT's are running perfectly with NB minor, so I moved them, the remaining two Red Devils, over to my new wood rig, and now I have six 6600 XT's, and they're mining Ethereum using NB miner. And there's the overclock settings. And I'm getting roughly 31 to 32. Right now they're down a little bit, but steadily I've seen 32 mega hash. And the power is pretty decent on these cards. It is about 60. Uh, we go 63 to 72 seems to be the range right there. So I love the 66 XTs low heat low wattage usage and a decent hash rate like i said 30 to 32 right now you see 30 31 but again typically you do see 32 based on these overclock settings using the msi afterburner and also on this guy i am running a cpu ryzen 5 i'm doing some xm rig cpu mining on raptorium using the supernova the supernova mining pool yeah so there you go that is where we are at today let me show you this there's my other rig running got some decent temperatures that's a 3080 ti rig i have running and i got some not too bad i got the temperatures pretty good in the grow tent the fans off the doors open because it's nice and cool out so i just have everything heat in the house right now so here we go Here's the new rig. I made it 28 inches long. Uh, reason being, I could get the ATX power supply in here and I wanted room for a HP server power supply, which I just added because I moved over two additional 6600 XTs. So this ATX power, apply, uh, power supply was maxed out. So I needed this guy. This is a 750 HP server power supply with a breakout board right here and the little power buttons right there guys these things are awesome and i hooked it right up i got those two guys running with my right here gpu riser splitters and these cards are great this is a hellhound and they only need one eight pin power in i mean four pin power in well there's four four eight all right eight and then uh an eight pin there as well and the next splitter goes down and powers the GPU riser, PCIe riser card. So there you go. This is this guy right here. So again, a lot of stuff here. We got the mini motherboard. And a regular motherboard would have came out to probably right here. So this would have been perfect. 28 inch length is perfect for two power supplies. And a normal size motherboard. This is like a mini motherboard. But it is working like a champ. And if you can see, I've got the adapters in here right there two adapters and it's a three pcie slot motherboard and i got the one to four splitter right there and on that puppy i do have four right there see the usb cables i have four gpus coming out of that and right there's the other two and the thing's working like a champ awesome and this is an msi motherboard I got from GameStop pretty much free because I had a gift certificate to go buy it uh, from buying some consoles. So there you go. Look at that. I got a hodgepodge here of 6600 XTs. I can actually, I'm actually maxed out on this motherboard unless I put another couple splitters in there, but I think I'm fine with six. I think six is manageable for a rig and I'm going to keep it at that. Uh, like I said, I got a EVGA 750 power supply right there, modular. 750 HP server power supply and the mini MSI motherboard with a mix of 6600 XTs, pretty much getting the same 
the same uh, mega hash on Ethereum uh, 32. And uh, that's where we're at. So what else is going on? Now, that's pretty much it. So we're going to keep this running. And I'm not going to add any more to this. Um, just wanted to give you an update on that. And we'll keep mining. All right, guys. That is all I got. Short little video today. And we'll talk to you guys later. Let me know what you're up to if you're mining, if you're staking, if you're investing, or whatever you're doing. Be interested to see what others are up to. We're kind of in a weird period where the market's kind of hovering, moving sideways with the price of crypto. The uh, Ethereum profitability is down to like 0.04 right now per mega hash USD. And last night it dropped to like 0.038. So it's, it's kind of still down there yet. So hopefully it comes back up to maybe 6.06. .06. We'll see. But I don't know. Who knows? Just keep mining, right? And that's why I like these 6600 XT cards because they're pretty much, if you can get one for 500 or under, you're doing good. But uh, for me, I'm not buying anything else right now until I see where things go. And I invested a lot already. I'm trying to recoup some of my money. So I don't want to buy any more hardware right now. Uh, we're just going to keep mining. Keep stacking coins. Hold. Keep mining. That's the plan. All right. I'm out, guys. Go forth, guys. Do great things. I will talk to you all later.